Hi friends, I'm Sincerely Unique, and we are back with another Genshin Impact video. Happy Patch Week! Um, so, I heard on Twitter and from my friends that Tartaglia uh, here got new voice lines. If I can ever click into the game. I actually have a lovely image prepared. Uh, because T Tartaglia's voice lines here are about the Fatui Harbingers. Um, they are named over here in the corner image, uh, over there. Because, um, I need, I need, I, I don't know their names as well. If you saw my video of me reacting to what, uh, the, the trailer here, uh, I do not remember their names that well at all. Uh, let's see. So where is it? My Tartaglia is at friendship level 10, so I should be able to just see all these pretty easily. Where are they? Hello? Oh, here we are. The Jester? All right. Oh, so I actually, oh, shoot. It doesn't have any, um... This doesn't have their actual names on it. Uh, no. It has some of their names on it, but not all of them. He was the first ever Fatui Harbinger, and today he's our leader. He only appears on important occasions. As for his accomplishments, to be honest, I don't really care. I owe my loyalty and devotion to the Tsuritsa. No one else. No one else. Oh my. I believe that's Pierro? Uh, let me know in the comment section, but I'm pretty sure they're talking about either Pierro or... I'm pretty sure it has to be Pierro. And we have the captain, who I'm pretty sure is Capitano in the corner there. Um, we don't know much about Pierro. I know some people really like how he looks like and are trying to, like, theorycraft and make him look like, um, some type of... Has to, he has to have some type of relation, relation to Dane's Leaf or Kaya. Because <laughs> he very much appears Conrian, right? Uh, so we here you have the captain. I've seen him in battle before, and oh, what a sight it was. Perhaps I'm ranked too low for him to notice me right now. <laughs> well, Child. He may not recognize my strengths yet, but one day, I'll show him what I'm made of. <laughs> I like that he's like, oh, I'm gonna make, I'll have him notice me. Capitano looks so scary. If we actually fight him as a boss, I'm gonna be so scared, actually. And this is the Tore, who we know from the manga, and he is freaking crazy. I am scared of running into him in Sumeru. I heard that he took segments of himself at different ages, made prostheses out of them, and assigned different tasks to each one. I know, all my comrades are a little so. weird. Well, come to think of it, if I met my own prosthesis, <laughs> I'd have to fight then and there to decide which one of us He's gets ridiculous. to survive. He's ridiculous. So, um, I have a theory of my own I want to talk about. So, in the trailer, um, I believe it's Damzalet and Dottore talking to each other at the end there. And Damzalet asks, so where's this part of you? And I think there, I think the Dottore we saw with the tree on fire at the end of the trailer is a clone. <laughs> I am scared. <laughs> so scary. All right, and this is Damzalet, who was the girl singing. And she seems so scary. The Fatui Harbingers are ranked by strength, and I have no idea why that girl is number three. That girl? I'd test my skills <laughs> oh with my. every Harbinger who ranks above me if I had the chance. But when it comes to her, something just doesn't feel right. Anyway, you should be careful around her. My gosh, even Child sounds concerned. Like, wow. Like, geez, even Child sounds concerned about messing with that girl. She has to be, like, she must have, like, a other side to her, like a side that snaps, you know? And this is the knave, who I think is Arlecchino. Yeah, this is Arlecchino. Look, I've got nothing against the really, she looks so agendas. cool. I, I really like her. I myself joined to get more experience in combat, but I don't like her at all. Oh, my. She's still to benefit from betraying others. She'd turn against the Tsaritsa in a heartbeat. There really is now? Bone in her body. Stain? <laughs> I love- If it's really funny though, because if you look in the picture here, Tartaglia looks like the only sane person in the room. Like, everyone is all black and white and all these edgy colors, and then there's Tartaglia. <laughs> so, this is Pulcinella, uh, who we've heard a little bit about in World Quest content. Um, something I want to bring up, and I totally get the- at totally get what people are saying um a lot there's people who are not a fan and i'm looking at it further i'm also not a fan of pulcinella's design um it's just it's it's going off of that 
trope of looking like an elf or goblin type of thing, you know? Uh, like a goblin, which has some very, very bad historical connotation origins. I don't know what his motivations could be, but he seems genuine about wanting to help me. He treats me just like family. Oh, and speaking of family, Aww. Tonya and Tusser are always telling me about the pastries and other gifts he brings them when they write. So while I've been away from Snezhnaya, he's kept his promise to take care of my family. Like... One thing I do, I will, I'm kind of glad for though. I I kind of can sigh in relief for is that Pulcinella doesn't seem like. Because there is a money money like a, a character who really is obsessed with money in this group, but it's not Pulcinella. That's Pantalone. She always seems engrossed in her research. Hmm. I wonder if those machines have anything to do with her. Anyway, I've only met her a few times, but every time she looked like she wanted to murder me. I have no idea what I possibly could have done to annoy her, though. So there's a theory with Mary and Ned going around. Um, I, 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 if you watched my video uh, talking about the Harbingers reacting to them, I thought it was really weird that Mary and Ned is using a ruin, a Conrian mechanism, as her puppet. But a lot of people are thinking, and I'm thinking too. The Catherines around the world that run the Adventurers Guild and stuff like that. They don't run the Adventurers Guild, but, you know, they do the commissions. What if they're spying on us and they're marionettes puppets? Like, we knew that Catherine could possibly be spying on us, but now we have, we know who marionette is. She always seems oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. <laughs> Child, as much as I love hearing your voice, we gotta stop. Okay, next we have Regator, who should be Pantalone. Oh, now that guy has a head full of grandiose plans fueled by raw ambition. I don't understand a word he says once he starts talking about his theories. Eh, but as long as he keeps our cash reserves stocked up, I'm not complaining. Yeah, Pantalone really likes money, and uh, he's been responsible for a lot of the Fatui's uh, financial shenanigans endeavors. And um, I, some people think he's hot. I don't think he's hot. I'm not into the Megane trope. I'm not. But, uh, he does fit the aesthetic of somewhat of... He reminds me... It's like a small little trope in JRPGs where you have this villain who smiles very sinisterly all the time. I'm trying to think of another one. I guess Arden from Final Fantasy XV would be a good comparison. But yeah, um... I believe Pantalone knew Senora pretty well. And I really wonder if we're gonna hear what he thinks about her death more often and uh, more in-game. And this is about the fair lady. Oh my gosh. I never got along with her. You know that. I know I that. I guess there's not much more worth saying about her at this point. When you're a harbinger, you have to accept that death could come at any time. But don't worry about me. No matter what happens, I'll do whatever it takes to keep myself alive. Ah, oh, child. I hope you I hope you will make it through this. I really do. Um I'm going to link a video in the description. It's going to be, it's titled Signora's Story. If you don't know the lore for Signora, you need to watch that video and really understand what the heck happened to her leading up to her death. Leading up to her joining the Fatui. Because she, she is not a uh, Sneznayan. She is, was, a uh, Mondstadt. About the Valadier. After he took the Gnosis, we lost all contact with him. Now comes the task of trying to hunt it down and get it back. I actually don't mind it. It means I get to travel all over. Wonder if I'll run into you somewhere along the way. I hope uh, I have a feeling we'll be running into the Fatui a lot in Sumeru. I actually wonder how we're going to go to Sumeru because... Uh, leading up to Inazuma, we had an Archon quest. We had an Archon quest with Kazuha, but we don't have anything right now. Let me know in the comments section, but I'm pretty sure we don't have an Archon quest confirmed. So, is the lead up to Sumeru going to happen on 3.0? Which, if it is, I'm I'm not excited for that, actually. <laughs> I'm not. I'm kind of worried about how that's going to work out. I'm always worried about the pacing for the starting Archon quest, because the starting Archon quest for Inazuma was rough. The story writing got so much better, but I'm very worried uh, that the start of Sumeru is going to have really weak writing again. 
But yeah, that is all of Tartaglia's voice lines about the the Harbingers. We don't we don't have much more we can speculate on uh, and, until they release more lore, right? So uh, maybe we'll see something in the islands uh, this this Friday. I play on NA, so it'll be on Friday. Do keep on the lookout for that, though. Um, I will be streaming tonight at 10 p.m. Central. Uh, not 10 p.m. 7 p.m. Central. I'll be streaming tonight at 7 p.m. Central to, to do Kazuha Story Quest. So be on the look on that in my Twitch in the video description. If you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope I can catch you in whatever I do next. Oh, that was so fast. <laughs> I really wanted to do this video because I'm such a huge fan of Tartaglia. And we gotten so much lore on the Harbingers and... So much, so much discussion that could be done about it. Let me know what you think of the Harbingers in the comment section below, based on what we know so far. And no leaks. Okay? Alright, bye bye now.